Hello boys and girls and welcome to another cookery show with your chef, Nathaniel. Today we're going to be making a King Kong Belly Buster Burger. Yes. So no more takeaways, no more needing that. Make your own original, gorgeous, my original recipe burger. You can add to it, you can take away from it, you can do what you want guys. Yeah, I hope you're staying up, I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're all fabulous. Good, good. Right, so we're going to move straight on the way. You've washed your hands and everything. You've got your hand sanitizer by. You know what I mean? You've got everything you need, all the work top to clean and everything, boom. So, I've bought this, £4.20. Now this, I'm only using one chicken fillet, yeah? In fact, no, I'll use two probably, yeah? So basically, but that's because I'm cooking for one, yeah? So you change it, obviously, change it up for different people, or if you've got a family or you're in a couple or whatever, yeah? So first, we'll move on to this one. So I've got a chicken. Right, get it out, wash your chicken. There's not worse than a dirty chicken, and trust me, I've had a few. Wash your hands, obviously. Right, so get this little thing. Put your oil. Very, very simple, guys. Put in your ramekin, your oil. Get your little brush, and you just want to coat your chicken, yeah? With oil. Not only will it crispin it up and make it taste gorgeous, It'll also, when I'm going to put the seasoning on, it works as like a glue for the seasoning. So, yeah, turn that over. Because I like to have my chicken seasoned on both sides, yeah? I don't like it on one side. There's not worse than that. Right, there you go. Both sides is done. Put that over there. Cause you won't be using that oil now because cross contamination. Wash your hands again. Obviously. There we go. Right, and all I'm going to use is some of my peri peri which you can pick this up for about less than a pound, yeah? Sprinkle it along. And then just flip it over. Turn that over there, yep, there we go. Flip that one, same process. Now uh, put that aside, wash hands again. Keep washing my hands, but you've got her. Because it's not worth the risk, guys. Salmonella and germs and everything, and we've already in a world full of germs at the moment. I've just topped this one side. You don't need to do both of this. It's going to be full of flavour with Barbecue Supreme, yeah? Absolutely gorgeous stuff. And now, like you see, there you go. Now, they're going to go in the oven at the preheated oven already. That's going to go in at 190 electric, yeah? And that's fan assisted, so it'll vary. Just have a look online, basically. So, we put that in, and that'll take about uh, 35 minutes, yeah? We've left that in there. So, I'll wash my hands again. We'll move on to the next process which is now your wedges, your gorgeous, gorgeous wedges. Now everybody loves my wedges because they're full of flavour, yeah? So there we go. All right, move that chicken. Um, got a glass bowl. We've got a chopping board. Right, I need to move this. See what I mean? Mr. Also Not Organised. Silly boy. These are pre-chopped. I'll be showing you what I'm going to do with these soon. This is your sweet um, peppers and a green chilli. So I will show you. I'll just wash this for a minute. Don't you know about you? Don't you know about me? Guys, I fuck with them. Girls, girls. Right, there we go. So I've got all that jiggling with it now. But yeah, right, so you got your potatoes, basic, boom. All from Aldi, this is what I'm cooking from. All from Aldi, guys, yeah? Just like that. And there's no far more fashion of doing this. That's quite big. I'm not looking that big. Move that. You want them in a good size, so obviously they're going to cook. You don't want them like that. That's ridiculous. Just chop that excess off. So there we go. Pop them in that glass bowl. Just like that. Boom, boom, boom. I hope you're all staying at home and you're staying safe and you're listening to whatever he just said the other day. You can go in, you can go out. In, out, in, out, you shake it all about. Basically, that's the principle of it because he doesn't have no fucking idea what he's on about. Do you know what I mean? So, it's about as bad as fucking Trump. At least we haven't been told that we've got to inject fucking debt all because that's really not my thing, darling. So, anyway. Oh, I've got a lot of potato. Oh, we're getting fat, mate. Uh, oh, I won't bother with that one because there's too much there. Right, 
Back in a second, guys. Right, so you get your potatoes in there. Yep, just like that. Fix this. A good glug of oil. There we go. Good glug of oil. Boom. Right, wash my hands. And now we're going to move on to the seasoning of them. Yeah? So I'm going to use Barbecue Supreme. Really, really nice. And this has in it... Jalapeno, garlic, chilli and mustard, yes? So it's got loads of flavour. I'm going to bring it a bit more. I like flavours from food. I'm not, as you notice, I'm not using any garlic apart from what's in that in my food because I'm sick to death of people going, oh my god, too much garlic. And I just want to hit you with a garlic bowl. Oh, it's just another one that goes, babes, use proper garlic, not granules. And you know who you are, bitch. Me, ow. Paprika. I say about half a teaspoon of that. Half a teaspoon of chilli powder because you're already going to have a, a banging hot meal anyway. Right, so there we go. Not even that, maybe a quarter of that, yeah? Just got to follow what I'm saying, yeah, guys? Right, and we're going to give them a little quick stir around, like that. Move that, and then, this is when it becomes magic because it's very simple, but very effective. And people don't do this with the wedges. We just top them on, and then half of the things are flavoured, yeah? See how simple that is, yeah? All equally coated. And we've all got that on it now, yeah? There you go. Oh shit, and then I've dropped it. Oh shit, I fucking make a statement, she's a silly bitch. Right, put them in there like that. Put them in with the chicken. I'll leave them in there like that, boom. There we go, and I shall be back in a minute. Right, boys and girls, and I'm back. So, next phase. You wash your board, you wash your hands, you wash your bowl, everything. We move on to the burger bit now, yeah? So, there's only one of me, so, in this house. So, I'm only going to use a little bit of the mince. I don't need loads. So, I'm going to use a little bit of this punnet. So, if it's just you, you can make the mix up, full it, and then use it over days. Do whatever. If there's a family, obviously, you'll get it. You can make far smaller ones, whatever. I'm doing it in one. So, there we go, you've got your mince. Now, one green chilli and two sweet peppers. Yeah, they look like chillies, basically. Get all this from Aldi, really, really cheap. Yep, put them in, just like that. Right, and we're gonna have, I'm gonna open it, a bit of mustard. Tiny, tiny bit of mustard, not too much. Put about that teaspoon, yeah? There we go, guys. Right, so, wash my hands. Because if it's a meal in the studio, oh no, it's a meal in the video, oh no. Right, and then I'm going to put in my favourite little thingy. Pick this up from Aldi, it's called Pesto Rosso. Yeah? There we go. Pesto Rosso. And all this is basically. Yeah, I'm not reading all that, it's Italian, I don't understand the fucking words that says. I don't understand if it's wearing. Oh, no, maybe not. So, anyway, teaspoon of this. Just like that, yeah? And you'll look like that, like shit, right now. So, go like that. Twist it around, do all this. And there we go. And it's simple as that, guys, yeah? Make sure you wash your hands thoroughly after because if you don't, you'll end up with um, really sore eyes if you rub your eyes or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Because it's got chilli in it, obviously. And that's what it looked like. It mix like that, yeah? Basically. And I'm going to put this on the Lean Mean Machine. So, oh, look at that. It's going to be a massive patter. There we go. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's going to be beautiful. Keep mashing it, moulding it, just like that, yep. And stick that on the foil, ready for when it gets hot enough. And um, ready to cook, yeah. And I'll be back in a minute, guys. Right, guys, I'm going to move on to the next bit now. So basically, this is very, very easy. I've done my salad garnish to go with the plate, yeah. That's not hard to do. So we're going to want to chop in the mushrooms. This is optional. You don't have to have this, guys. You know what I mean? 
Just like that. Just like that, very, very simple, yeah? And you've got some red onion already chopped, yeah? And I'm gonna show you, move them aside. You haven't put your burger on yet. Your chicken's in, your wedges are in. Now I'm gonna show you just how, oh God, to um, basically garnish this. Yeah, <laughs> TK, I didn't even know what I was saying then. Sorry. Dear me. Right, so, this sour cream and chive, yeah? Optional guys, if you want to be boring and you want to go to oh, I want to make ketchup and barbecue sauce, then be boring. That's fine. I'm showing you something tasty and easy and gorgeous. Yeah. So, sour cream on your tea cake, just like that. Because you're going to have quite a pungy, quite a spicy, tasty burger. Yeah. Do you want to cool it down with the sour cream? Because it balances it out, guys. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. There's no, there's no amazing way of doing it. It's very simple. Boom. Don't cross contaminate people. There we go. Right, and we'll move on to salsa now, yeah? You pick this up from Aldi as well. I usually, normally use it on like chicken or nachos and stuff. But it also goes lovely in a burger. Yes, it does, guys. There we go. Very simple. Boom. Done. Right. And that's that, and I'll be back very, very shortly. Boom. Right, so I've turned on the um, Lean Me machine. You can hear it just about sizzling. It's ready to go down. I'm going to top this with the foil. I'm going to recap with you what I've put in. I've put, a table, I've put a teaspoon of mustard in, a teaspoon of pesto rosso sauce, um, two sweet peppers, which are like the chili-shaped ones. You can pick them up from Aldi. About eight pence in a packet, if that, actually. And one spicy green medium chilli. Yeah, all mixed together, and look at that. And this is why I use the Lean Me machine, guys, because you can see the fat running off that, yeah? And look at the size of that, the sheer size of this. This is why I've called it the Belly Buster King Kong Burger, because I am challenging you not only to make it, but to actually be able to devour this burger. I'm telling you now, it is a challenge, but that's what I love. And I know there's loads of guys on my Facebook that love the burgers, love the food. I've got my mate, Sammy, her boyfriend's into all this kind of stuff. So he can eat shit like this. So basically, please follow my recipes, give it a share, everything, and I shall be back very, very shortly. Right, and I'm back. So basically what I've done is I've now took the foil away, and you can see, it's like that. I've put mushrooms, mushrooms are optional, because I know not everybody likes them, yeah? But that is basically what's going on right now, yeah? So I shall be back. Right, so we're just about ready to take the chicken out, yeah? So I'm gonna show you now, oh wow. Oh my god, the smell as well. Look at that, guys, yeah? That's your chicken. That's what's gonna go into the burger. One of the chicken pillars probably won't fit in because I don't know how big this burger's gonna be like because I don't have the little twigs to fucking keep it up. So, this should be interesting. And your wedges, perfectly seasoned, yeah? Perfectly seasoned, perfectly crispy. You've done it at home, you've done it yourself and you've done flavours. You've not bought them, it's not full of preservatives, it's not full of salts and crap. Like you don't even know what's in it. Enums, anything that's in food, it's not there because you've made it and it's fresh. Yeah? You could even be more clever and grow your own potatoes and do this. Imagine that. Boom. Right, so I shall be back. Right, and I'm back, so I'm going to get my burger out now, yeah? <laughs> I just realised I just... I'm going to get my burger out. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to get my burger out for you guys, you wish. Yeah? There you go. So I'm going to put that on top of the tea cake. I'll be back in a second. I'm going to move you so you can see. Yeah? Right. There we go, we'll keep you there. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Right, so, you got the chicken. You're on your first stage, so far. By the way, underneath, I've put some onions in and I've put, don't put tomatoes in, fresh tomatoes, unless you cook them, because there's water it and it makes your bread really mushy. So when you eat your burger, it, it naturally falls to pieces. So that's why I don't have tomatoes in my burgers. Just a little tasty tip there, yeah? So. Because the thing about it is all water. Cucumber's not too bad, so I've put cucumber and I've put lettuce and I've put onion, yeah? Take your egg off, because that's ready. You can have it runny, you can have it how you want it. That's up to you guys, I'm not really, I'm not bothered. You can't sound it off though, some mushrooms. There we go. Turn that off. Give it your mushrooms there, we'll put them in after. And I'm going to put also in it, some pepperami, or pepperoni even, some peppered salami, and some smoked cheese. Also, I'm going to add mozzarella, yeah? 
So give me a second, because now I need to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to, in fact, that meant my check, that meant my sense. You pick this up from Alda. Yeah, in a pack, I think it's about one pound odd. So that's your smoked cheese on top, yeah? Peppered, salami, just like that. Pepperoni, boom, boom, yeah? Very, very simple, guys. An egg here, yeah, that's fine. Right, <laughs> oh God, I'm dreading this because I don't want it to fall over while I'm trying to show you. <laughs> so, get your chicken fillet out. Coming out from right in your windows today, and I don't even mean to do it. Up. Right, so I'm gonna try and make, straighten this out a little bit because it's a little bit of a thing. If you've got a weird shape for your chicken fillet, try and flatten it out because you've got to top it as well, that's the only thing. Yep, go like that. Oh dear. I don't like that colour of chicken. Oh, really? Absolutely beautiful, yeah? Now. Mozzarella. Yeah. Just like that. There we go. Oh my God. Wow. Right, your mushrooms, just put on the top of your little tea cake because you're going to struggle, yeah? And then top. Boom. And there you go. There is your King Kong burger, yeah? With your gorgeous seasoned wedges. Boom. I shall be back in a sec. And there we have it, guys. So, you've got your wedges, paprika, yeah? Chili. You've got your beef burger with sweet peppers, chili in, yeah, your barbecue seasoning, you've got your peppered salami, your pepperoni, and you've got your peri peri chicken, mate, topped with mozzarella and an egg and mushrooms. Boom, 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 with your salad garnish. There you go. So easy, guys. I challenge you to try and eat this and also to make it. Stay safe, stay home. Love you all. Please tune into my videos on YouTube and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything and it's just Nathan washing it. If not, pop over to my page. Come cook with me, tasty, easy, easy tasty meal, sorry. And I'm also on Facebook, follow me. Thank you so much, guys. Like I say, stay safe. Much love to you all.